Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now we're here today to look into LED light bulbs and in particular the power quality that comes from using LED light bulbs. In the background uh, you'll see a lamp and there's an LED light bulb in it and it's actually covered up. I actually have it covered up with cardboard because the last time I worked with this particular light bulb I had two weeks of insomnia which is a commonly reported problem around LED light bulbs. So if you're thinking of getting LED light bulbs, I would recommend that you research the subject of LED light bulb induced insomnia before you take the plunge. But we're not here to talk about that, we're here to talk about power quality. And if you look at the oscilloscope in the foreground, you'll see a sinusoidal waveform in yellow. Now it's our voltage waveform on the AC system and it all looks good. But if you look at the red, the red waveform is quite distorted and it's actually out of phase with the voltage waveform. And uh, the problem with that waveform is it generates harmonics on the electrical system. And harmonics can do a lot of very strange things on the electrical system, including creating very high magnetic fields, very high electric fields, and very high radio wave emissions from cables. And you'll find that the cables, if you tested the cable going to the slide, that it would actually be giving out wide band radio wave emissions that are easily picked up on an AM radio. Let's take a look at this current waveform a little bit more because you see it's got little spikes on it. So let's zoom in and see what's going on with that. So you can see the current's not continuous, but rather it's got this jagged profile. And that jagged profile really does strange things. And you can see there's lots of little spikes on it too. And that's the electronics. So what's going on is there's a set of electronics inside this LED light. And it's a very noisy set of electronics. And that's why we can see that the waveform is all distorted. And uh, because of that, it gives you very poor power quality on your system. So if all your lighting was LED light bulbs, you may actually find that your cables start radiating radio waves if the distortion is really significant. So let's take a look at it in the frequency domain. So I'm going to switch on a function which is known as the fast Fourier transform. And we're going to look at the current. And there's our current profile. And we're currently set on 500 hertz per division in the horizontal direction and you can see we have a lot of spikes and that's the harmonics. So I'm going to drop down to 50 hertz per division. Now this big one right here is the mains frequency so that's 60 hertz. So everything else is a harmonic that has been generated by that light. So let's go up to 10 kilohertz per division. Let's see what's going on up there. So at 10 kilohertz per division, we see that we have this big spike, and that's coming from the light bulb, the electronics. So it's a set of frequencies that it's generating, but you'll also notice that there's a lot of general noise, and that's actually higher than the background noise, and it's coming from the light bulb. And here's our concentrated harmonics. Let's uh, zoom back into that and see what they look like. So there they all are tailing off. And um, we're currently set on 1 kilohertz per division. So that's the harmonics of an LED light bulb. As you can see, the electronics are very noisy and it causes a very irregular draw on the current, which puts really strange frequencies onto the utility system. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.